I think he's already influencing everybody. You know what I'm saying? You hear people talk about Barack. You never heard anybody talk about George Bush unless it was a disrespect. Yeah. <laughs> we hate that fucking man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I don't hate nobody, but I hate that man. And I think a lot of people do too. Yeah. He's a big fuck up. Totally. You know, now at the end of the day, you know, I think Barack, you know, he's President Barack Obama. I think he's doing a great job. I think he's, um, you know, he's bringing optimism back to the economy. Mm -hmm. Stock market is starting to balance itself out. I just want him to be a, a, a little more effective in ending the war shit, bringing mm -hmm. some of these troops home. But at the end of the day, we also got to respect the fact that as a, a leader of a country, he, he, he has to be he has to be stern as the leader of a country because he also has to make sure that for the right reasons, you end the war the way it should be ended and not end the war just because of a misunderstood perspective from the people. And I don't think people have the proper understanding of what's really going on with that situation. And of course, we'll never really have the proper understanding because we're not politicians. But for whatever the case may be, we also have to remember that this is not his war. He inherited Bush, the mm -hmm. Bush administration's bullshit for the last eight years. Yeah. Actually, right. from before that, because when <laughs> Bush Sr. Yeah. was the president, Cole. he started the bullshit. Yeah. So Barack is, is he's inheriting some shit mm -hmm. from well over 15, 15 years, yeah. 20 years, you know what I'm saying? And and we have to support him through that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have to support him through that and we have to make sure that we, we, we earnestly support him because our support for the first time, you know, the things that we decide to do and the actions that we take and the initiatives that we take as people for the first time feel like they're really going to be effective in some kind of a way. I never felt before Barack, President Barack Obama that the choices that I made and the, the, the decisions that I made and, you know, the initiatives that I would take as far as my actions would have that much of a direct influence on what happens on a bigger grand scheme level mm -hmm. in the world of politics and in government. Mm -hmm. right. But us being able to do the voting thing and get our president that we have now. And to see that for like the last eight weeks, the stock market has definitely risen. Mm -hmm. And to see the optimism of the regular society people being reestablished so that they can feel good enough to take their families to a restaurant and spend money on weekends, coming back in our government and in our society structure, you can see that you know, things are starting to loosen up a little bit. You can see employment starting to get, you know, the, the, the level of employment, the level of the employment percentage is starting to rise again. You're also starting to see, you know, the, the issues that needed to be addressed a long time ago from health care all the way down to, you know, just the assistance through the stimulus market stimulus plan that's been helping so many different situations even when Bush started trying to free up money right before he left <laughs> the way the Bush guy did it he did it in such a fucked up way a scamful <laughs> fucked up way because what he was doing was he was freeing up money to the people that was supporting his Com administrations yeah, and his company. companies so that on their way out, they were able to cash out mm -hmm. and take some of that freed up money to put in their pocket. And then when Barack finally steps in the office and a lot of these corporations like General Motors that still needed money after they got a whole bunch of money given to them already, it's so unfair that Barack had to deal with that shit. But He's still making the decisions necessary to try to save their situation as well as 
make sure that the people that have taken advantage of the money that was freed up by the Bush administration and given to the wrong people is not being done again mm -hmm. so that the right people could get the stimulus money that's been freed up to help the people who really needs the help this time. So it's like a lot of people that were in CEO and boss positions in some of these Fortune 500 companies, they were getting all of these million dollars, millions of multi-millions of signing bonuses from the stimulus putting it in their pocket and then they would retire yeah. the next week <laughs> with all of this fucking yeah. money. You know what I'm saying? And then you got all of these people who really need the money that ain't getting it. Yeah. So now they filing for more stimulus package money to, for help and Barack gets stuck with this bullshit. Uh -huh. So it's like, it's a, a lot of unfair things that he's dealing with and that's ultimately the point that I'm trying to make. And even with all of that, he's still making the best of the situations and he's making the best decisions in addition to those issues that needed to be addressed and handling and balancing it all out in such a, a, a very productive manner that I, I respect his leadership and I respect, you know, who he is just in terms of being able to handle all of that burden and still exemplify the, the calmness and the focus and the 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 accuracy in how he executes his plays to benefit the, the country and benefit the world. And I think that, you know, we all feel that shit, even outside of the United States. Like, you know, y'all could see and feel a significant difference in, you know, what he's doing for the people and what he's doing for the country and what he's doing for the world based on the, the decisions he makes and how they affect the other countries because mm. they all affect each other based on the decision that's made in one area. The decisions made in one area determine the reaction that the decisions that need to be made in other areas are going to get yeah. in return. So the leaders in, this, in these countries, Austria and England and China, they, a lot of decisions that they're going to make are based on the decision he's making. Yeah. And if he's not making the right decision, it creates a domino effect of yeah. a lot of bad decisions being made because right. now decisions have to be made in response to those initial decisions that were made. Mm. And I think that's the part of the reason why the whole world is fucked up. Because a lot of the decisions that were initially made oh. by dickhead Bush, it created a domino effect of a lot of negative and bad decisions that had to be made everywhere else mm. in response to his stupid decisions. So, <laughs> you know, we all directly and indirectly were affected by the decisions that were bad mm. from this man. And I think as long as we continue to put our faith in Barack and um, keep the faith in the power that we have as people, I definitely feel like we'll, we, we'll, we will continue to go in a direction that's going to be a much better one than the one that we've been going in. So I'm very much proud of the Barack administration right now. Good one one.